That's it, Chris. And we feel lucky because Ann and I have really never been invited up there in person. No. Oh, <laughs> you guys are invited. But yeah, look at this view. Oh, my gosh. It's tough to beat. The sun's going down. Of course, we're starting to lose the last little bit of daylight, but it has been spectacular. And of course, I'm layered up, but you don't really need to be. It feels so mild out here, too. And the best part of all, I think, is just looking at all the traffic and just being so glad that you're not stuck in it and you just get to enjoy this incredible view like this. There's a look at Mount St. Helens behind me. You can kind of still see it a little bit of light on it. And then also um, Mount Hood too, just looking glorious uh, this evening. If you saw this morning sunrise, it was even better. This is the time of year and really over the next few days, we have the storm system that's just off the coast is sending these clouds in where you can get these really, really awesome sunrise and sunsets full of color. And that's what we saw this morning. Not quite so for this evening. It was pretty, but not as spectacular as this. Take a look at that. Thanks to Shana for sending in this picture of the sunrise and Park Rose. And we also have another one. Uh, this one just beautiful. Beautiful this morning. Uh, this one, thanks to Evan. Please send us your pictures reported at coin.com and get out there again tomorrow morning. We're going to have these clouds around, so it could be extra special again tomorrow morning. A live look outside and uh, looking a little gray from this camera, 53 degrees, and we'll continue to see temperatures drop as we head through the evening along the coast. It's been gray, and we've even had a few sprinkles just try to push in along parts of the Oregon coast, and we'll have to watch for that. But once we get this system to pass through, we're going to be looking at sunshine for coastal areas and I think a lot of us this weekend. The front's just off the coast and high pressure's building in, so that's kind of the issue here is it's keeping that front kind of stalled back to our north and west, so occasionally you may get a sprinkler to reach the coastal areas, but most of the activity is staying off the coast and out over the waters, and even that will continue to stay back up to our north and west as it passes through uh, eventually Friday night and a Saturday. Your day planner for tonight, uh, temperatures at 50 degrees for 7 p.m., and then temperatures are dipping down into the upper 40s and we'll have to watch for fog to develop. I can already see a little haze out there, so definitely keep a close eye on that as it could really reduce visibilities. And so if you're driving out tomorrow morning, you'll want to check in and see what that's looking like because you know it can really back things up on the roads whenever those visibilities go down. And there will be that potential tonight for sure. Temperature wise around the area in the low 50s, up and down the valley, coastal areas too, central and east, very mild as well. Mount Hood Meadows and uh, still trying to enjoy that fresh snow. We got earlier this week and we're going to see more nice days ahead. The freezing level at 10 to 12,000 feet. So if you head up, you won't need to dress too warmly. You'll still want to dress warm, but you can definitely get more of the springtime gear out and we stay dry. We're not going to see any snow moving in anytime soon. So our snowpack, unfortunately, continues to dwindle. Right now our base at 30 inches and for the season uh, we're at 78 inches, which is very low for us. Uh, uh, this is almost at record levels pretty much for us for the Cascades. 10% of normal for Mount Hood, Sandy, and Lower Deschutes, and then you drop southward, and for the Willamette, 10% of normal. That means we're 90% below normal, in other words. Central and East, not quite as bad. We're about half of, we have about half of what we typically have for this time of the year, so not quite hurting as bad out that way. Rain and cloud forecast, no snow moving in anytime soon as we continue through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We'll have clouds here and there watching for fog. You can see those showers stay mainly off the coast. And then as we go into your Thursday, a few sprinkles for coastal areas and up into Washington. That's going to be about it. Let's get to the seven day forecast and take a look at the numbers. Temperatures are just going to go higher and higher. We're going to be looking at highs approaching 60 degrees, if not to the low 60s with enough sunshine. Next week we stay dry too. We start to cool things off a bit, but I still think we'll have some really pretty days ahead. So get out and enjoy it. Valentine's weekend. It's going to be really nice. So maybe instead of doing something indoors, you get outside to enjoy this nice weather instead. It feels awesome out. Yeah. And yeah. Jeff. Thank you. <laughs>